In this lecture, you'll learn about the different Cisco certifications. It's really easy to find the information. So I'm on Google here and I'll search for Cisco certification. And then I'm gonna click on the first hit I get that's not from an advertiser, that's on the Cisco website. So I click on there, that's gonna take me to this page that lists out the different certifications and the normal progression that you'll go through as you reach them. So at the entry level, we have CCENT and or CCT. Then at the associate level, we have the CCNA, the Cisco Certified Network Associate. And if you look in here, you'll see there's various tracks. I'll get to that in a minute. The next level up is the CCNP, the professional level then the CCIE at expert, and then we've got the certified architect. Now, Cisco generally want you to progress through the levels in order. For example, if we have a look at CCNP security, I'll open that in a new tab, you'll see that the prerequisite, you need to be a CCNA security first. And if you have a look at CCNA security, which is one of the specializations, you'll see for that, you have to be a CCENT or a CCNA routing and switching already. So when we talk about the CCNA in general, we're talking about CCNA routing and switching. All of these other tracks like cloud, data center, service provider, they build on top of routing and switching because all those other tracks, they run on top of IP networks and to learn about IP networks, that's where we do the CCNA routing and switching. So this is really where you want to start on your Cisco certification path. Now, if you're wondering, well, wait a minute, what about the entry level certifications? You see, if I look at CCNA routing and switching, and we'll check the prerequisites for that, there are no prerequisites. So pretty much everything further on, you need to start off with the CCNA routing and switching, but to get CCNA routing and switching, you don't need to do CCENT or the CCT first. Now, let's have a look back at the monster job search again. And if you remember, if we looked up the Cisco CCNA, there were a lot of jobs available, 515 right now. But if I look up Cisco CCENT, there's only going to be 17. And if we look up Cisco CCT, it's even less, there's only two jobs found. So there's huge demand for the CCNA routing and switching, not so much demand for the CCENT. So what I'd recommend you do is accelerate your career progression by going straight to the CCNA. If you've already done the CCENT, then great. But if you haven't, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Just go straight to the CCNA. Everything that you learn in CCENT is covered in the CCNA anyway, so you can get higher up the ladder in your career faster by jumping straight to the CCNA. Now that you know that, let's take a look and see what we need to do to get our CCNA. So you can get this from the same page again. Again, I'll click on CCNA routing and switching to get all of the details. And to pass the CCNA, there's two ways that you can do that. You can either do one exam, which is the 200-125, or you can do two exams, which is the 100-105 and the 200-105. My recommendation here is do the 200-125. Why do two exams and have two trips to the test center and pay for two exams when you can do one exam and just have it done in the one time? If you want to do over two exams, fine, that's up to you, but really it's not any easier. So I highly recommend take the 200-125 exam. And that's what this course is. Well, this course will prepare you for doing it either way, but. I recommend you do the one exam. Let's have a look at that exam by clicking on it. And you can see the format of the exam, it's gonna be a 90 minute exam. You're gonna get around 55 questions on the exam. And if we wanna see what we're gonna get tested on, we can click on review the exam topics. And in here, it's gonna show us everything that we can get questioned on. You can split this out and show details. Now, 
If you have a look, you'll see that everything you can get tested on here, I'm going to cover during this course. So I am going to get you 100% ready to pass the exam. If we look back at the other tracks, you'll see that some of the other tracks included security, wireless, etc. Because there's other CCNA tracks for that, this exam is not going to test you on data center, on collaboration, on wireless or security. It's going to focus purely on routing and switching. This is a good thing anyway, because this is going to build up your core networking knowledge. If you want to specialize in one of those other tracks later on, then this is going to give you a great foundation. The last thing to tell you, because this is often asked about, is how is the actual exam going to be experienced? What happens? Well, you take it at a Prometric View test center, which is great because you can take it any day that you want. There's not fixed times that you have to show up to do the exam. You book it ahead of time, you pick the day and the time that you want to do it, you go to the test center and you're going to pass the exam. Now, if you're wondering what it's going to look like in the test center, Obviously, I don't have a test center here, so I can't show you personally, but if we go to YouTube, there are several videos on YouTube that are going to show you exactly what happens on the day. So I'm in YouTube and I'm going to search for Pearson View. And I did this earlier today, actually. The first one is pretty good. So this Pearson View exam day experience from NCEES Media, that shows you clearly what's going to happen when you come in to do the exam. One thing on here, it tells you that you can take a calculator with you. That, in my experience, is not correct. You'll see later when we do the subnetting section that that would maybe help a little for this exam, but you're not going to be able to do it. You're going to have to do it on a piece of uh, paper with a pencil like I'm going to teach you during the course. Okay, that's everything that I needed to tell you in the introductory section. Let's get into learning the technology.